gods! What is this? <laughs> Greetings, mortals. I am the Fallen Shogun, and I've been doing some salvaging in between the last one and this one. And you may be having a quick look at what I'm looking at. Because this is a Megalith class gunship dreadnought. And it's just, just here. It's genuinely just here. I can pick up, if I want to, right now, end level legendary. So, you know, that's just something I now have. I could have expected it to explode. I'm taking all the equipment off of it. That's just literally something I now have. It even explodes. Like, I'm just picking up equipment. There's big massive fights and things going on. Just picking up salvage supplies. What do you expect to start recording until a little bit later? Like, when one of these bigger fleets attacks me, like, this one's obviously coming to have a little look. Right. But, yeah. I was expecting... More. Like. But instead I just picked up that. So we need to resource everything. Because that's insane what we just did. I've also. This is a bigger one. I've been souping up my primary flagship. Which is no longer I guess my primary flagship. Okay, we're going to move into engage. But yeah, I've uh, full on equipped the Gehenna as a more combat capable ship, and I'm about to give it a test drive. Right here, right now. So the front guns have been changed. It's more like. The two, it's got two mediums now. The light stuff's also been changed to so combat based. So it should be more combat capable. It's also been given heavy armour. The override's been changed. So it actually is full on designed as a full on combat capable war vessel. And as you can see, I think I still need to sort out the fighter situation. But it's pretty useful. And it kind of wants to ram everything out of the way. And those forward missiles when they activate are insanely powerful. But the heavy armor I've put on it, it means it takes a lot more hits. I've also armored up the weapon mounts. So the guns take a long time to go down, and the armor takes an even longer time to go down, like you saw just there. It just did not stop. So this is now heavily fortified. I was going to do an entire thing on how powerful this system is. But now I have another ship. Another much bigger ship, which I think I'm going to put into storage for a little bit. We could use it, and it'd be super powerful. But I don't entirely know, I have the equipment for it. So we're going to go and store that away for a rainy day. I also want to join the uh, the Tritax, but they don't like me as much, because I've recently gotten caught smuggling. I need to be ten favourable with them for them to like me. Which obviously is going to take a little bit more time. Yeah, this is very heavily armoured. Look at this. This was super over overkill. So yeah, this ship, even without the override, it's 136. It's faster than the... It's faster than the Eagles, I think. It's insane. Loads of extra equipment. Yeah, so my main ship, the Gehenna, super useful. So I'm going to make uh, the Eco... No, Coulon my primary ship storage. I'm going to go put that big ship there and we're going to have a little bit more of a look around this section because I'd like to find something proper to fight and not lose my super new, super cool ship because we are going to be using it at some point. Just not right now because this is a little bit early in the war. I need at least a few hundred grand to use that bloody thing. Actually, do these people like me yet? We're at 10. Yep, we lost 5. Cool. So I'm going to sell all my stuff at market prices for them to like me. Great. 
Great. Look at all those tariffs. That's awesome. Apocalypse cannon. Ooh. Absolutely great. Great. Okay. Cool. Let's go back. So, <laughs> I went back to salvaging because the tri have been hitting them hard and I found another one. This one we're not keeping. We can't just have a supply of hundreds of these things. So, there's another one. <laughs> I don't know what to do about all of this. I keep coming here to pick up equipment. Wait. The Eldritch Fortress just changed hands. The tri just took the Eldritch Fortress. A Paragon class battleship of all things. Now I could literally just skip to end game content if I wanted to do at this bloody stage. I'm not going to. Because I defeat a massive amount of what we're currently doing. That's genuinely insane. Genuinely insane. These guys are attacking me. It's mostly mercs and transports. In fact, why are they attacking me? Who knows? Who genuinely knows? Oh my gods. I thought my ship was big. We're not at the stage of big yet, are we? Oh, I just... So yeah, just, I don't know what's going on right now. I could have had two dreadnoughts and a battleship. And I probably should have, at this stage of me recording, maybe I should have that level of fleet. But I'm just doing some basic things, picking up some basic gear. Maybe I will surprise you by hanging out with all these battle zones and picking all this stuff up. But right now, we're having happy, happy times. And that's learning what's going on with these guys. That's the good thing about battles and fights. You can always skip to the end if you want to. You can always skip to the end. And sometimes skipping to the end means death for everyone else. This ship, the Gehenna, is very, very powerful. Like, I've equipped it to a stage where it can fight battleships uh, twice its own point cost. Obviously, I can still do a bit more to it, but it has got to a stage where it will fight hard. I've removed the armoured weapon mounts and the stabilised shield to add the gunship. The Shadow Lord gunship. It's very edgy, but it does what it says on the tin. It shadows and lords it over. It almost gloats, if I'm honest. Almost gloats. But yeah, destroyers and things, we just shrug off. And we almost eat them for breakfast. Now, outside of that, obviously, this fleet was just super powerful. The uh, Archean Order might get destroyed in the next few turns, honestly. Because let's face it, there's a lot going on. A lot of Moida is going on. Now, I'm honestly debating, do we try and steal their ships, then fight for them? Who knows? Right now, I want to get back, trade with the Tritax, because I want them to like me, get a commission, get some money coming in, because we are quite poor, and see how things go. So, I uh, I couldn't help it. I now have this big ship here. It's not it's properly equipped. It's called the UL Lucre Hulk, for obvious reasons. And honestly, I could do an entire run in those things. You might even have to do a CIS run with them. But yeah. We are now fully equipped. I've got rid of a couple of the uh, other ships. So I'm trying to keep my numbers down. But I genuinely could not help it. It's a big ship. It's a majorly big ship. And testing shows that it's probably more powerful than my entire fleet. And that's with just the equipment I've put in. So the Arcane Order haters are trying to tax it out f uh, five? I gave you like 15, actually I gave them 100 grand's worth of stuff. They charged me a fortune for it. And uh, Typical, isn't it? Absolutely typical. You try to do nice things and it always bites you in the backside. Usually you have to pay for that. And in this case, 
I've definitely paid for that. Mate, that's a friendler. Okay, good. Yeah, at least three. So this this is going to be a problem for them, isn't it? Like, what are they meant to do here? What am I meant to do here? Like, uh, ooh, a falcon pea. There's some interesting things, I guess. The shrikes, there's epiphanies, which are actually really quite good um, carriers. But, available for hire, available for hire. Even the commanders look a bit suspicious. What am I meant to do? So I think it's time to leave. Time to actually go do those things I said I was going to do. Ooh. Rich. Is probably going to get me killed. And also, I know I just talked about the whole making them like me thing. But honestly, with those kind of prices, I don't care. So we're going to go out and find some bounties. Are there any active bounties currently ongoing? 250k... Where's this? Volcanic with a giant primer. That's a joint. That's a blue giant. Just there then. He's hanging out here. Let's go kill this guy. Hopefully. Getting back will be fun, but let's go kill him for some money. Money. So this should be where the enemy bases, where the enemy fleet is, because there's no other giant primary in this little sector. However, there's a warning beacon, so that's always a good sign. Harbinger class phase destroyer. Huh. Cool. Don't really want it in my fleet, so I'll take the resources. Derelict ship. Inactive gate. Huh. Volcanic world. Let's go for the closest one and go for that one. Are you the closest? Are you? What's this? Kite? Huh. So there's a few things of looting. Just a few lootables. Uh, oof. Consume 70 by supplies. Class 3 survey data. Cool. Let's go check the other one out, I guess. Oh, found him. One star. Let's give a test. Just these five ships. I'm expecting losses. I'm also very curious. So that ship's now in attendance. It's got multiple missile launchers and a lot of point defense. Oh, completely destroyed. So I'm using my flagship and the Lucra Hawk. Now the flagship has a lot of point defense on it and also a lot of fighters and so on. So it shouldn't need too much to persuade itself. So, so, like I say, most of the stuff is point defense. It needs more help. So that's already being destroyed. So you're going to have to retreat. But the Lucra Hulk should be able to basically take care of most of this itself if it was better. Again, I'm not sure how the AI is working for it. I don't think it is. So we'll have to see about that. I might have to, it might be one of those things I have to take direct control of. I really don't hope I have to. Who did I send to retreat anyway? The zombie mose is escaping. The star jackal is also going to have to retreat. Of course it is. Have you hit that and hit it hard? It's, it's, it's not fully equipped. Half the point defense is uh, like oh, even more point defensing. All the big stuff is gone. But it's still, as you can see, packs a heck of a punch. Star jackal's going down. Star jackal's dead. God damn it. Well, see that? It's just overwhelming firepower. And it should do. It's 48 bloody points. It's going to have a few issues. Its actual ability is to immediately fast deploy everything. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly switch over. Look 
Look at it though, it just eats things alive. Nothing should get too close to this. Once it does, it just sinks its teeth in. And it does not let go. Oh. Does not let go at all. Look at that. Just melting them. Now, some of this isn't the strongest. It is very on fire right now, which is kind of cool. The engines are gone as well, which is even cooler. I think we have a good winner. A couple of these could go through fleets. Maybe it will. Yeah, maybe we won't do a CIS run. Because let's face it, I'd need to get some kind of someone to mod in the ships. And I don't think I got anyone who could do that. The mods don't want the mod makers don't watch me anymore. None of them do. They used to. They used to think I was cool. Turned out I wasn't cool. I was just one of the few people making content. I learned my lesson that day. Oh, look at the burn, baby burn. I'm not even aiming at these guys and they're melting. See that, the more? Gone. These ships trying to hide behind me? Going. Can even the point defense is doing a lot of damage. Oh, look at that melting apart. Just continuous missile fire. Oh dear. So the Star Jackal went down, which is awesome. I love my primary ship exploding on me. Absolutely glorious. Absolutely great. Now this ship, as you saw, still needs some more equipment. We've managed to steal a little bit more, but... Testing went well. Do you know how much it would cost to fully repair this and all the damage it's got on it? A million credits. A million credits to make it shiny. I think we moved the flight deck damage this thing has. Now, we're not going to talk about the amount of uh, fighter crew I just lost. So imagine that's probably really high. I'd be surprised if it isn't really high. I'd be genuinely surprised if it isn't high. My god, the amount of damage we just took. Look at the amount of missiles and that is taking, and it's still going. Insane. It's actually going to escape. Looks like let it go. It deserves it after that. Uh, held in reserve. That's my stuff. Let them go. Costa Star Jackal nearly died. Costa Star Jackal nearly bloody died. <laughs> Oh my god, Star Jackal. Oh, Star Jackal. Of course you have damage. That's one big uh, fleet done. There's a few more things. The Orbital Habitat, what you got? Explore. Salvage it. Now we have access to Psycor Blueprints. Odyssey Battle Cruiser. Really? Wow, everything is coming up me. Lumen Drone Ship. Nav buoy, sensor array? Really? There we go. So now I have even more burn speed. Okay, good. Not sure why anyone didn't want that. Salvage this. We now have the 14th battle group blueprint back package. Well, this is just... Don't really care about that. This is... This is a bit much. We're now fully equipped and prepared. Eh, uh, that's fine. A little bit low on supplies. In fact, to the point where I should probably have you uh, not repair for a bit. But whatever. Also, I am going to point this out just in case. I am running this Iron Man mode, but I am making dozens of copied saves. Because, quite frankly, 
I don't trust the mod system stuff to not screw me over suddenly. So yeah, we're running Iron Man, but I'm making a lot of saves, an awful lot of saves. Because I have lost entire series before and my god I don't want that to happen again. Let's see how far back we can get. Uh, Persians like me, the Persians love me. Let's go say hello to the Persians and resupply. I'm definitely 320 grand for the 14th legendary. Ooh. I'm definitely getting my mods mixed up. I came back and my first thought was Ulan Siege Lasers would be great on this thing. We don't have Ulan Siege Lasers, do we? That's an entirely different mod system. We don't have access to them. But I am. Uh, we could heavy Gatling laser. Ooh. But yeah, I am a little bit muddled by what I can and cannot do. And I'm getting there. But. Yeah. We're equipped, we're repaired, I've done a few things. Are we equipped or repaired? No, we're not. I'm lying to you. I apologise slightly. Got a fair bit of money. I can make a lot more money, as you just saw. Don't know if I want to, but I can. I'd like to, of course, go back and say aloha to all the locals over there as well. An awful lot of aloha. But that's a different thing entirely. How are we doing on men? We need more men. Menly men. Men in tights. Who roam around the forest looking for fights. Outside of that, there's still no commanders. I have yet to see any commanders. Maybe there's an important one. They want to try and join me? More a trait suggestion could be agile. It's known for powerful shields and glitchy. Vigilant PD, agile. Being a blockade runner. Speed boost at zero flux rather than agile. Speed boost at zero flux. No, 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 no. I also have the Galatea Academy. They would like to have a little chat with us. Oh god, I'm out of scan. Comply. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh no, you hurt us. I hope you will die. They're friendly with us, we can get away with that. They won't get away with it for long. Now, outside of things, we still have a few bounties we can have a look at. There's a few big ones going on. Nothing major, like over here there's this one which we could wipe out pretty easily. There's this one, which we could wipe out, but it's a long, long way away. So we can't do anything about that, which is the big one. There's some we could hit, but they're just too far away. So I'd love to join the tri -Tech to get their lasers, but they're not really making it easy. Uh, see this? I'd like to hit this Persian League thing. Wait, wait, where's that coming from? Madeira? Where's Madeira? Where are you, Madeira? Okay, we're going to go over there, and we're going to go wipe out a trade convoy. I've been here now for a few days, waiting by the exit hole. At no point did a trade fleet come past. Never mind. Never mind. But no point did a trade fleet come past from there. Now these are friendly with us, they don't know who we are, 